Hey guys, it's Kaylee. In this lesson, we're going to learn about thermometers and how to read them. Thermometers are a tool that measure temperature. Have you ever seen the weather report come on TV? It will often look similar to this, and the weatherman or woman will tell us the temperature prediction for the next few days. These numbers down here represent the temperature. But what is temperature? Temperature is a measure of how much heat or energy something has. There are a lot of tools that help us measure temperature, but a simple way is by using our senses. Now let's imagine you have a mug of cold milk and a mug of hot tea. If you wrap your hands around the mug of cold milk, your hand will feel cool. And if you wrap your hand around the mug of hot tea, your hand will feel warm. Things that are cool to the touch have a lower temperature or less energy. And things that are warm to the touch have a higher temperature and more energy. Now, if we want a more precise measurement of temperature, we can use a thermometer. Thermometers are usually made of glass and have a hollow tube. At the bottom of the tube, there is a bulb. The bulb holds liquid, normally an alcohol. There are numbers that go up the side of the thermometer. Normally, there's a symbol at the top that tells you what units of temperature you are measuring. These units are normally a C for Celsius or an F for Fahrenheit. In the United States, we use Fahrenheit to describe temperatures, but most other countries use Celsius. These are also thermometers. Thermometers that look like this often give the temperature of engines or machinery. And this type might be the most familiar to you. This thermometer is used to take the temperature of the human body. You may have used one of these when you were sick to see if you had a fever. When there is an increase in heat, the liquid that is in the bulb will expand and push up the tube. So as the temperature goes up and gets hotter, the liquid goes up in the thermometer. When there is a decrease in heat, the liquid that is in the bulb will contract and slide down the tube. As the temperature goes down and gets colder, the liquid goes down in the thermometer. Now let's practice reading some thermometers. Here we see the red line has moved up the tube. We find the top of the liquid and we see what number it is at on the scale. This one is right at 80. And if we look at the top, we see what units we are in and it is F, so Fahrenheit. We can write the temperature as 80 with a degree symbol and then a capital F for Fahrenheit. Here we see the red liquid has moved down in the tube. We find the top of the liquid and we see what number it is at on the side. This one is right at 30. And we look at the top to see what units we're in and it's C, so Celsius. So we can write the temperature as 30 with a degree symbol and then a capital C for Celsius. Now let's compare these two thermometers. What temperature does the blue one read? We can find the top of the liquid and it reads 70 degrees and Celsius. Now the red one, we find the top of the liquid and it is 90 degrees and Celsius. So which thermometer is reading a hotter temperature? Yeah, the red one. The liquid has raised up higher, so the scale gives us a larger number. Now these thermometers don't have numbers, but they're all in Fahrenheit. Just by looking at the heights of the liquid, which thermometer is measuring the hottest temperature? Yeah, this one. We know because the liquid has gone all the way up to the top and is higher than the other thermometers. Now, which thermometer is measuring the coldest temperature? Right, it's this one here. And how do we know? Because the liquid is the lowest, and we know that as the liquid cools, it slides back down the tube. 
let's talk about some common temperatures we feel in the real world. The human body is on average 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the same as 36.6 degrees Celsius. Even though these look like different temperatures on the thermometer, they are actually the same. They're just being measured in different units. A nice sunny day could be about 70 degrees Fahrenheit, but a super hot day where you definitely want a pool to swim in could be about 90 degrees Fahrenheit. And a day when it is snowing could be about 30 degrees Fahrenheit. And when we bake cookies, we typically heat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. That's really hot. Now you know how to read a thermometer and why we use them. Remember to always check the units at the top. Practice what you've learned by doing the online games and quizzes. Have fun and remember to always be clever. Hey, hey.